this angel card reading is for the week of August 24th through August 31st. So let's get these cards in flow. This is going to be a really amazing week. We're finishing up our August uh, energy, kind of our infinite possibilities, August energy, and now we're ready to kind of move into what's coming up next for us. I feel like that's our first card. This is our second card. This is our third card um, for the week of August 25th through the 31st. So let's talk about it. First off, freedom. Now we are just going to be past our full moon in the sign of Aquarius during this week. And so this is going to be pushing us to want more freedom and want more desires. Kind of like, I don't want to follow everybody else's drum. I want to do my own thing or I want to kind of do my own energy. So that's a really important one. We're still going to be kind of on somewhat of that energy um, during this week. So it's a great one. Let's bring in that amazing energy, that amazing insight into what's going on. And literally don't follow the crowd. Do your own thing. Now, friendships are usually kind of what contradicts that. If our friends are not doing it, we don't want to do it. And this is a time where we can kind of like push our friendships in some different areas and go in like, are they on the same page as me? Doesn't mean that if they're not, you have to get rid of them. What I'm saying is sometimes um, we need to find some new friends that are kind of going in a different direction than what our old friends are doing. It's one of those uh, like friendships uh, keep the old, but what is that? Girl Scout saying, um, I'll have to put it on the screen because it's going to be hilarious. But it's one of those keeping the old friends and bringing in new ones. Now, support is one that I absolutely, it's one of my favorite cards. I just love the angels um, around the earth and kind of praying for us because that is the image that I always think of as our archangels, our um, different angels that we have in the world, literally supporting and loving us, whatever we choose to do or whatever we bring in and know that the support is there, but we must ask for it. We must ask them to help in certain areas or to help us with the situation or a person or an event or whatever it is. We need to ask for it. So many times people just think like, oh, it's not a big deal. They already know what I want. No, 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 no. We have got to ask for their support and then ask them what area is it? Is it um, our relationships? Is it our friendships? Is it with our kids? If it's what's going on around us, asking our angels and guides to support us during this time frame is amazing, but we must ask. So here's kind of the, the, the part of that is ask ask all the time in your head of going like come in and help me with this situation or help me with this person or this event or whatever it is keep asking don't just kind of like oh they know what I want no 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 we've got to be all on the same page and you've got to allow them into each situation each event each idea that you're bringing in and I guarantee you will see their guidance in signs in and around you I thank you so much for joining me this week and I know I'll see you next week